Kyoto University who will speak about uh, <coughs> the crystal materials that are <coughs> directly exhibiting photonic animals. Sure. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Neerkrak, and uh, uh, thanks to give me a chance to talk about our uh, recent result. Today, I would like to talk about the light induced structure color change and the dynamics of the isotropic symmetric blue phase. So, our system, this is a symmetric, uh, schematic representation of the isotropic symmetric blue phase. This is a not cubic symmetry, and this is a true a spherical isotropic symmetry. So, color is uh, completely uh, does not change. A viewing angle, so this the green is uh, always green, uh, looks uh, in any direction. So our system made by uh, two types of uh, mix, uh, uh, mixture of the two types of ferroelectric mm -hmm. crystal molecules. Uh, why is this kind of twin molecules? Is a, this is a dynamo. And this is a, a mixture of the completely, uh, the half of this dynamo is this uh, monomer. So we, uh, this we call this is a commensurate mixture. So this is a, a, a schematic representation of the diagram. It's just a half of it. Uh, this is a monomer. So we mix these two kinds of molecules. And uh, this, uh, okay, so uh, phase diagram. I'm sorry, so phase diagram is uh, lost. Okay. Or oh, here. This is a full phase diagram. Uh, a horizontal axis, uh, this, is, this side is a monomer. This is a twin rich region, and this is a monomer of pure only. Pure monomer has only isotopic to symmetric gray, but the uh, mixture has very, very complicated phase diagrams. Uh, here is a, uh, uh, so all these six modulated phases has symmetric border and uh, this cholesterol cakes. So most lowest temperature two phase is a uh, famous twist grain boundary and a uh, higher line negative phase. And another higher temperature uh, three phases, uh, symmetric blue phases. Oh, this three phase has been found by French group and this one and two has a cubic symmetry and uh, symmetric blue three uh, only liquid but uh, uh, some uh, optical rotatory power. So we have found the this four uh, symmetric blue phases. This is a uh, uh, isotropic symmetric blue phase. So uh, we uh, <coughs> introduce this sample into the very thick uh, thick cell. Uh, this is a one millimeter thick cell and the shining uh, uh, illuminating the white light from the backward. To we use a polarizing microscope and temperature cooling down from the isotropic phase. So sample showing a uh, clear uh, homogeneous color. And this structural color is dependent on the temperature. And green, uh, blue to green to uh, uh, more and more uh, uh, longer wavelengths. And uh, this color is uh, completely, uh, uh, does not change uh, with viewing angle. So system has a spherical isotropic symmetry. This is not cubic phase. And you can see the automatically the very smooth sample surface and the domainless. And this is completely transparent of uh, one millimeter thick cell. So today we would like to about uh, uh, this symmetric blue phase and by modified, uh, mod modulated by the strong uh, pulse laser light. So this is a symmetric blue phase sample, and we shining the laser excited by the uh, strong uh, pulse laser. Uh, and here we illuminate it as the uh, strong pulse laser light. We can change the uh, color from uh, more uh, shorter wavelengths so structural color can be modulated about uh, um, this is a real-time video uh, maybe five, five, uh, 
few hundred milliseconds is the response time. And we can draw in the, uh, any area, selectively any area. So artificially, so we can use the scanning the uh, laser light, so blue or green, and uh, uh, we can design the uh, color in, in the sample. And this is a slightly different video, but uh, maybe a similar way, and this is a color is different. So uh, we try to understand the mechanism of this uh, color change. So this is the analysis of the spectrum change by the high-speed spectrometer. So this uh, span is uh, one second. So this is uh, light and irradiated in this time, and this is a laser light turn off. So color uh, quickly change about 100 milliseconds, and then next uh, very slow process. So uh, uh, faster process, we call this the slow mode one. This is 100 milliseconds, and the slow mode two is a few seconds. And this is a, a two, type, two, two types of relaxation. So today we are go not going into in detail, so our first mode, uh, mode is uh, shrinkage and elongation of this, uh, this kind of multilamera interconnected structure. So you can see that this is a unit structure of the selective groupies. So uh, slow mode one is uh, uh, keeping as a multilamera number of the layer, so the inherent structure uh, shrinkage and elongation of this uh, unit structure. So more slow one is a uh, uh, few uh, second uh, relaxation time. So this is how we conclude the, this most mode is uh, correspond to the, uh, I'm sorry, so, and so number of the, the layer the uh, uh, combinated to uh, the very much more long time. So we can see the two types of different relaxation mode in uh, color change. And we try to also the dynamic light scattering in this uh, symmetric group phases. So this is a, a conventional homodyne dynamic light scattering spectrum uh, from the one megahertz to the uh, one second. So we can find in this symmetric group phase two relaxation mode. One is uh, uh, something around the 10 microsecond and very fast mode. Another one is, uh, this is uh, uh, around the 100 millisecond. So this uh, two uh, mode exist in the symmetric blue phases. So in contrast with symmetric blue phase, we also uh, measure the uh, cholesterol blue phase. So in the cholesterol blue phase, uh, only one relaxation mode can be uh, measure. So with this relaxation frequency is uh, maybe 10 kHz, uh, very close to the orientational fluctuation in the nematic phase, and also uh, cholesterol has a uh, orientation, uh, ori orientational order. So this fluctuation mode corresponds to the direct fluctuation in the cholesterol blue phase. But in the cholesterol blue has a uh, uh, and cubic uh, discrimination uh, cage of the discrimination. So this orientational motion is localized in the uh, one unit cell. So this uh, this mode does not depend the uh, uh, scattering angle and uh, so just around uh, uh, 10 kilohertz. So as compared with, with this data, so this in the symmetric blue phase one, uh, one or ISO, uh, this higher frequency mode that corresponds to the uh, orientational fluctuation in the uh, multilamera cubic uh, lattice uh, similar to the cholesterol blue phase. So another slow mode is very uh, close to the response time of the color change in here. So this is the expansion or shrinkage of the interconnected uh, cubic lattice. So uh, we we, today we focus uh, our attention to this higher uh, frequency mode. So just around this uh, uh, 
based transition line and mixture is 70 percent is monomeric sample and sample uh, from isotropic to symmetric blue 3 and then symmetric blue iso and then, then symmetric A phase. So this is uh, uh, in the isotropic phase. So first mode exists even in the isotropic phase. So this is a very fast mode and uh, very similar to the uh, order parameter fluctuation near the isotropic to pneumatic transition. But in this case, uh, so this peak, uh, this is a temperature dependence of the higher frequency mode. This is a frequency, uh, relaxation frequency, and this is a intensity. So this intensity it increases in the uh, isotropic phase towards to the isotropic to symmetric blue phase 3. So, uh, and this uh, relaxation frequency also slowing down uh, as, uh, as very similar to the uh, isotropic to demotic uh, transition, uh, critical slowing down. But in this case, and this symmetric blue phase 3, three. so relaxation mode not, that's not a, uh, and completely slowing down, but that, uh, completely co uh, continuously connected to the first mode in the symmetric uh, blue phase 3. Also, this uh, first mode is still uh, exists in the isotropic symmetric blue phase. So we cannot identify the, any difference between this symmetric blue phase uh, 3 and 2 types of blue phase and also isotropic phase or uh, completely uh, continuously connected to the, uh, this fluctuation mode. So as compared to the conventional isotropic pneumatic transition. So this is a, a very famous uh, pre-transitional order parameter fluctuation in the isotropic phase. So this is a, a slowing, critical slowing down of the order parameter fluctuation and the intensity diverge towards the isotropic pneumatic with the first order phase transition. But just uh, below this uh, phase transition, this order parameter fluctuation completely uh, disappear and the uh, very slow oriental rotational fluctuation appear. So this is very different uh, in, uh, in this case. So this is very looks like a, a pre-transitional pre effect of the uh, uh, orientational fluctuation. But uh, uh, mechanism, mechanism is, uh, should be different. So, we cannot now understand the uh, 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 origin of this fluctuation, but uh, compared to the cholesterol blue phase, uh, in the cholesterol blue phase, the orientational fluctuation is uh, uh, limited, uh, 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 localized in the, uh, this kind of cubic cell, so the frequency is much more higher than the uh, orientational fluctuation in the nematic phase, but still, uh, uh, finite gap uh, appear in the uh, phase transition. So, and the very different and in this case, and isotropic phase has uh, the similar uh, fluctuation uh, exists in this uh, in very close to the symmetric blue phase. So we have not, not so many, uh, plenty of time to uh, another uh, experiment uh, we try to understand this uh, mechanism so this is a X-ray diffraction. So isotropic phase uh, has uh, no uh, layer structure. Layer structure appear at the isotropic symmetric blue phase three, and then this uh, intensity increases like this. And symmetric blue phase to symmetric gray is a drastic increase of the intensity. But uh, a similar layer structure exists in the symmetric blue phases. So and. Um, we skip this one, and uh, so I <laughs> sorry. Oh, there. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. So and. Uh, so viscoelastic 
to measurement uh, showing this uh, in the isotropic state and isotropic phase uh, show the complete the Newtonian behavior. So this is the imaginary part is completely proportional to the frequency and the real part is almost zero. This is a Newtonian free, uh, fluid. And the uh, symmetric blue phase 3 has uh, some uh, viscoelastic behavior, but uh, if the frequency goes to zero, so all uh, imaginary or real part uh, uh, value is uh, go, go to zero. So this is a, a, a fluid, viscoelastic fluid. But in, in the symmetric blue phase, a uh, uh, finite real part, static real part appear in this phase, so this phase uh, showing the general response. Then, as uh, in the symmetric A phase, so the elastic constant is much more faster, but order much more uh, stiffer than the uh, uh, symmetric blue phase. So we compare this phenomena in the much uh, macroscopic behavior and the intermediate right wave lens region, and this is a microscopic group experiment. So we can clearly identify the macroscopic uh, uh, length scale in the isotropic to, to symmetric gray, but in the, uh, this uh, orientational fluctuation uh, appear in the, uh, all uh, this kind of liquid-like state. So now we, we, we don't understand the mechanism, but uh, this is a uh, in, in the symmetric blue phase, uh, even the, this one, uh, this fluctuation should be uh, related to the orientational fluctuation. So this is also the, some kind of orientational fluctuation in, in the isotropic phase, and it's a very mysterious uh, uh, scheme. So we, we try to understand the, this origin of the uh, dynamics. And also we try to uh, uh, now uh, uh, design something like a uh, uh, light-induced uh, optical uh, metamaterial, something like this one. And also we can use uh, some scanning uh, light and to draw in this kind of uh, light material, uh, light uh, uh, yeah, material, uh, metamaterial. So thank you for attention. This phase is uh, uh, liquid light, but uh, this, uh, this phase has also some strong fluctuation. So, but uh, this is a liquid phase, so if you go frequency goes to zero, so it's a, a mechanical response is uh, completely zero. So we, uh, materials can smoothly flow, but uh, some relaxation appears. So maybe some uh, small, tiny structure deformed by the flow. So this induces an uh, elastic, re elastic response, this could be elastic response. So, and then in the uh, symmetric, uh, color symmetric phase, so completely generalized response. So, it, it sample is uh, some stiffness, yeah. Anybody else? Okay, so we have our final uh, presentation of the morning session by the panelists from Cambridge.